The Bible tells me to let everything I have breath praise you the Lord. So if you are breathing, why aren't you praising? Give God some praise. This is my action. Yeah. Come on, Bishop. Today, this is your exit. 
Come on, God. Come into this place. Come on, God. And you do the teaching. Yes. God, open up some spiritual eyes. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Open up some spiritual ears. Yes, God. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let somebody know that the battle is over. The war might go on. But I'm going to go on top. Because I have you as a leader. I have you yeah, as a guide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have you as a mediator. Mm. I have you, God, by my side. So with all that fire, Pray, boy. I have no other chance. I have no other way. I have no other place in my life. But you yeah. are coming out. In this service, open up somebody's eyes. Get up, Let them feel the sanctification. Pray, Bishop. With the Holy Ghost. Let up, Five baptized, oh Lord. Right now, in the mighty name in of Jesus. In the name of Lord. Jesus. Lord, we want to thank you for blessing us. Yes. We want to thank you for favoring us. Mm. We want to thank you, God. For being our God. Yes, sir. Because God alone is our God. We want to thank you. We thank you now. We want to thank you. Yes, God. We want to thank you. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Give God a hand in this. Come on. My title today is It is Time for Your Exodus. Could God Almighty? It's time for Your Exodus. That was a river over here. Greece and the country below Greece say that we will come to a tree only if your forces do not cross this boundary. Mm -hmm. As long as your country do not cross this river, mm -hmm. so that was the tree. The river was named Rubicon. Rubicon. Come on, Bishop. And it's the same that they are crossing my Rubicon. Mm -hmm. And the reason why they make that saying, I'm crossing the Rubicon, because they know once I go over a point in my life, mm -hmm. there's no turning back. Come on. Over in Greece, it said, once you cross over this treaty line, we are going to war. Uh -huh. And there's no turning back. Come on. So once you pass your Rubicon, who passed their Rubicon this month? Who passed their Rubicon this month? Once you pass your Rubicon, there is no turning back. That's right. That's right. I used to be that way. I used to think that way. I used to do those things that I ought 
Rubicon, not do. Mm -hmm. But since I passed my Rubicon, mm -hmm. my mindset mm -hmm. has changed. Talk, Bishop. My thought process has changed. Come on now. The things that used to ponder, I used to ponder over, I need not ponder over no more because I know that is remedial and it is of the devil. The devil want me to ponder things and wonder about things and think of a thing that God said that you are past. Amen. So since you have passed your Rubicon, yes. your mindset has totally changed. Right. Give God a hand I in this place. We are talking about with me in your book as, at Exodus 13. Exodus 13. I try to not to make this too long. As you know, I'm not a long winded preacher. Amen. <laughs> Exodus 13. I know y'all think about that food that's upstairs. Look at this. I am. I'm I am. Amen. Exodus 13 and 2. Consecrate, Read. consecrate to me. All the firstborn. Whatever opened the womb among the children of Israel, both of man and beast, it is mine. Amen. And Moses said to the people, Remember this day in which you went out of Egypt. Out of the house of bondage, mm -hmm. for by strength of hand, the Lord brought you out of this place. Mm -hmm. No leavened bread shall be eaten. On this day, you are going out in the month of beer. Of beer. Of beer. And I stop right there. Okay, the firstborn sons belong to God in a special way because he spared them Egypt. He spared them going through the process of slavery. He spared the firstborn of going through bondage. Now, if we look into what Exodus means, amen, the word origin for exo, from the, from the Greek word exo, outside related to ex or out of. Dutch meaning bad or ill or evil. Putting exo and dust together, you have the word out of evil. Come on now. Teach it, Bishop. Teach it, Bishop. A bill or Nissan on the Assyrian calendar is the first month, and on the Hebrew calendar is the first month of the ecclesiastical year, and the seventh month of the civil year. Mm -hmm. The name of the month of Assyrian Babylonian origin in the Torah, it is called the month of Aviv, corresponding to the latter part of March and the beginning part of April. Mm -hmm. Now, going back to the first month of ecclesiastical year, one meaning beginning, first in a time, rank, order, or importance. Now, get this, the seventh month of the civil year, seven meaning Complete, all or finished. Exodus 13 and 5, read. Come on now, get with me. Come on. 13 and 5? Mm hmm. Go ahead and read through 7. Yeah. And it shall be when the Lord brings you into the land of the 
Canaanites, and the Hittites, and the Amorites, and the Hevites, and the Jebusites, which he swear to your fathers to give you a land flowing with milk and honey, that you shall keep this service in this month. Seven days you shall eat unleavened bread, and on the seventh day there shall be a feast to the Lord. Unleavened bread shall be eaten seven days, and no leavened bread shall be seen among you, nor shall leaven be seen among you in all your quarters. Now in the Old Testament, God was saying, participate regular in the Lord's Supper. We thus share in his deliverance and life. Now in the New Testament, saying in 1 Corinthians 11 and 25, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye off as ye drink it in remembrance of me. The Old Testament, somebody say oh. Old. Old. The Old Testament ritualistic system is placed by the gospel of Christ which he established by his death. death. In other words, when God gives you a new beginning, he starts with an ending. Amen. Thank God for his closing and shutting of doors Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's, about, it's about moving on today. This is our exodus. Yes. We are allowing God to shut doors and to open others. One thing God compelled me to put down when I was writing this message yes. at this time. Ask yourself a question. How would you feel if someone never talked to you till they wanted something God is feeling the same way. Good you God Almighty. God whenever you want something, but you never go to God when everything is going right. Oh, that's, you never go come to on, God that's power. When the birds are singing and the sun is shining and the bills are paid and everything is going your way. You never seem to really go to God and drop down on your knees until you really need something. Until you fall into dire strait. But I'm telling you, God has feelings too. He wants me time of him. So if I were you, I would start praying a little bit longer. If I was you, I would start praying a little bit more. If I was you, I would gather a relationship with God. And God will do the things that you need to be done. A relationship with God in order for this to work. Well, I remember I had a situation with my youngest daughter. The only time that she would call dad is when she needs some money. The only time that she would call me is when she was in trouble. But I got fed up with it. I had to talk to her one day. And you know what? I know I was being nice as I could be. But it still hurt her feelings. Because she wasn't expecting me to come off the way that I did. Amen? She wasn't expecting me to say no. She wasn't expecting me to put my foot down. But I had to tell her, I want to hear from you a little bit more. I had to tell her, I need to hear from you and establish a relationship with me until you can ask me for a favor. Until you can ask me for money. Come on now. I still won't pass you out, but I need a relationship. I still won't talk a bad about you, but I need a relationship. And that is the same way that our God feels. All the time you call him is when you're in trouble. All the time you call him is when you need help. But you need to get down on your knees. Preach up in here. And pray to God. 
God where everything is going good. Yeah, 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 yeah. You need to get down on your knees and pray to God where everything looks good. Everything sounds good. Give God a hand in this place. Now let's travel forward. We talked about the exodus of the Egyptians. Mm -hmm. Now let's travel forward. I'm getting there. From the Hebrews, exodus to our physical uh -huh. relinquishment uh -huh. of our own captivity. Well, what history tells me is that Congress on January the 31st, 1865, mm -hmm. ratified or confirmed or approved on December the 6th, 1865, the 13th Amendment abolished slavery in the United States. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But it wasn't until June the 19th, 1865, well. the announcement of uh, abolition of slavery in the United States of Texas and more generally the emancipation of the enslaved people throughout the former Confederate States of America. Amen. Now this day was also called Freedom Day. This day was also called Emancipation Day. Let me get out know, of this little bit. Not trying to be prejudice or anything like that. Like, why so many people don't know about Juneteenth? That's right. That's right. But we celebrate Fourth of July, July 4th uh -huh. when we were still Which in Which it was not our freedom. We celebrate July 4th. I'm not trying to be controversial or nothing. But it's the fact. truth. It's the truth. It's fact. It's fact. Amen. We need to be celebrating June the 19th. That's what we need to do. And let that be our July 4th. Yes. We need to celebrate June 19th to get out there and barbecue a little bit. Come on now, Bishop. Let somebody know that this is the day. That the this is our freedom. Uh, this is the day that the slaves was emancipated. This is the slave that we got our independence. July 4th, you were still serving master. July 4th, you were still in slavery. Come on. So why yeah, you were. July 4th. Over June the 19th. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's all quiet. Wow. It wasn't our freedom. That wasn't our freedom. Amen. 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 And it shall come to pass. Go, let's go to Acts 2 17. And as you go in there, let me read this. Now, if you believe that God can set you free physically, He's already proven that. That the same God can deliver and set you free mentally and spiritually. Yeah. Who believe God can set them free spiritually and mentally? Amen. Acts 2 and 17 through 18. And it shall come to pass in the last days, said God, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and old men shall dream dreams. Acts 2 and 18. And on my servants, and on my handmaids, I will pour out in those days of my spirit, and they shall prophesy. Well. First ask your neighbor, are you a servant? Are you a servant? No, no. Are you a servant? Are you a servant? Okay, say it like you mean it. Now, if you are a servant, well, me, then you are setting yourself up for God's anointing. Yes, yes. You are setting yourself up for the pouring out of His Spirit. Yes. If you are a servant, you are setting yourself up to be prophet, to be prophets, to see visions yes. and the dream. Preach, Bishop. But you have to be a true servant. Sold out. Yes. Servant. Saved. Yes. Servant. Sanctified. Servant. Holy Ghost. Servant. servant. Fire baptized. Servant. Say, you have to be a saint and you can't be an angel. Well. Say, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Uh -huh. This is the 
the year of your exodus. Get out of that old mentality. This is the year of your exodus. Get out of the old way of thinking. This is the year of your exodus. It is time to bury the old man and resurrect the new man. Restore the new man. Revive that new man. Letting your emotions well, feel your decision. Good God Almighty. Say it again. Say it again. That's good right there. I had to slow that one down. Because a lot of people are emotional. Well. Instead of spiritual. Come on now. And if you let your emotions feel your thoughts. You preaching right there. If you let your emotions feel your actions. Well. If you let your emotions feel your ways, you are not going to make it. God wants you to lean on him. God wants you to depend on him. You have to stop letting your emotions feel your decision. Trust and believe and hold on to your faith. I don't know when. I don't know how. I, but all I do know is I'm coming out of this thing. Well, I know that my mind is made up. Yeah. I'm moving forward from here. Yeah. This is my emancipation. Yeah. Since you went through what you went through for the past month, I was a in my chronicles. Today is my emancipation Great. day. Today I came out of what I was going through. Yeah. Today This is my emancipation day. I'm setting my calendar. I'm making my vow. This is my exodus. I'm free in my mind. I'm free in my body. I'm free in my spirit. The Bible says in Galatians 5 and 13, For brethren, ye have been called into liberty. In other words, you have been called to freedom. For an occasion, not for the flesh. Yeah. In other words, word do not do not use freedom of the flesh, but love and serve one another. Yeah. In John 8 and 36 states, if the Son therefore shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. Yeah. Who in the house is free right now? Who in the house of the Jesus Christ? He died on the cross and he paid on the cross. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
My God. My God. Frame of thought. 
bullshit. This is my ex. This is my ex. I don't know who this is for. But you hear me to write this down. You are a queen. Mm. Women, you are a queen. Come on, Bishop. Talk to him. I'm a king. Come on. Oh, what? Come on. You don't need a Porsche king in your life if God is still trying to work on you. Say it. Oh, you already, already here. You don't need a king in your life. If God is trying to use you right at that point and he don't have the place to put the king, not saying the king is not on the way, not saying he don't want you to have a king, but I am saying do God's work. That's right. That's right. That's right. God will complete you. Yes, he will. Man, do not complete you. No, they will He might be a help. And she might be a helping, and I'm saying it for men too. Be a king. Be a king. Before the queen. Be a king. You don't need a queen to complete you. There you go. And there I'm not you talking go. about uh, against marriage. That's right. No, I'm all for that. Exactly. Exactly. But sometimes when you get confused, well, yeah. when you get confused, well, well, and you give all your attention. Uh huh. To man uh -huh. mm. or to woman. man. Yeah. You neglect no, God. Confused, you neglect God. You put God in a state of life. Yeah. Uh -huh. Your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah. Wow. Amen. Amen. So God said, even Paul said, what, what did Paul say? Paul said that. I wish that you oh. would sing like me. In other words, Paul saying, now, I'm not talking against him, talk I mean, a, 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 a match, but I would rather stay single. Because marriage make you lose focus. Marriage make you give a little bit more to your spouse. Yeah, yeah, yes. And let's to God. You don't understand who God is. Come on. But when you understand who God is, and you can handle that marriage, then God will place someone in your life to be your helpmate. Amen? Amen? So whoever, and I'm not pointing no fingers, I'm not saying who's who and what's what, but if the shoe fit, wear it. Wear it. Amen. Amen. Another thing, you are not your father. Mm. In other words, you are not your dad. Whoever this is for, stop comparing your life to your father's life. Mm. You're better than that. Mm. You're higher than that. Mm. God going to use you in a very special way. My, 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 my. Your father missed the call. My Jesus. The Cut father the didn't do the will. Speak, God. He stayed in the will that God wanted him to walk in. Mm, speak, Lord. And you hold yourself in contempt. Amen. 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 You are not your dad. Mm, mm. You're going to go further. Come on. You're going to go higher. Come on. And God is going to get the glory. Yes. Jesus says you should do great work. No matter what the enemy said, your mind is not going to slip into depression. Amen. Someone right now is fighting depression. Speak, Bishop. And the devil said you're going to lose your mind. Speak, Bishop. I say, let God handle it. Mm -hmm. Put it in God's hands. Yeah, yes. Because every day the voice gets louder 
and libel. Mm -hmm. It's time to pray. How is your prayer life? My God. How is your relationship? My God. With God. Mm. Amen. Amen. God can God can do no more than you allow him to do. My God. God can fix it within a twinkling of an eye. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. God can put you in the right mindset right now. But you got to believe that he can do it. You got to have the faith that God can do it. If you believe that this is your excellence, stand on your feet and give God some praise. I 
I look to the hills. When the enemy wants to steal my joy, I look to the hills. When I think all is lost and I want to throw in the towel, I look to the hills. And I get my strength. I get my joy back. I get my peace back. I will not be afraid another day. Thank you, God. If God said go, go. Hey, hey. If God said do it, do it. Yeah, yes. I will not procrastinate another day. Move on from the Lord. Uh-huh. Watch how the church will grow. Say it, Bishop. When we stop procrastinating. When we stop putting things off. Tomorrow, when we can do it today. God is an awesome God. Yes, He is. Yes, He is, Bishop. He is an awesome God. Yes, He is. Yes, He is. He pulled me out. I'm talking about me. He pulled me out. For death, baby. Come on. He pulled me out. Yes, he did, Bishop. Drug at me. He pulled me out. Come on, Bishop. Alcohol. He pulled me out. A lot of people just don't know. But God gets the glow out of my life. Preach, Bishop. Yes, Lord. Come on, Bishop. He gets the glory out of my life. Yes, he does. Because I know what it is to be homeless. He pulled me out. I know what it is to not have a job. He pulled me out. I know what it is to you know, only have ice in your refrigerator. He pulled me out. Don't even have a bed to lay in. Put a pallet on the floor. He pulled me out. And if he could do it for me, he can do it for you. So say with me and mean it. This, this.